late mother was soft-spoken, but perhaps she saw best the many differences between me and him. I was a headstrong child. You see. Him. She probably knew I was going to regret my decision. At 25, and having got a list of boyfriends and admirers, I threw caution to the wind. I simply got tired of life, and when he appeared, I thought I found an easy way out. We got engaged, and I became his wife six months later. As the I grew up in a liberal and loving environment. My parents were born in their thinking and were never associated with anything remotely conservative. They always believed that their children must be exposed to the ways of the world. Naturally, religion was important, but it didn't dictate nor crab our lifestyle. I thought my spouse would be one with the same creed. The only thing we shared in the end was possessing the same face. For Muslim women, marriage is not a mere certificate. It is an exchange of rights from the bride's father to the groom. With a simple pronouncement by the top party, many will inevitably gamble on their future. And lifetime, not all will focus on the dream. I was regrettably one of those. When he uttered the words, "Sayat rimani kanyas, then thou must pawing sebanyak tonight," I become his. I choose to ignore many different says and many signs which. Should have stopped me from marrying him. From the early engagement days, I saw the future has in store. The hands which were supposed to protect me found its way instead to my skin in the moments of anger. He ought, he would apologize, and I believed him. That the recent slaps or punches was something he will never repeat. Yes. Roses become a pattern on my body. Me becoming accident prone to concerned eyes. Close friend even tried to persuade me stop marrying him and call off the whole thing in the eve of my wedding. I refused. We began living as newlyweds at my parents' house. Days barely passed. Before I knew, I made the biggest mistake of my life. The man I married became a monster that shared my bed. I dreamed of a partnership which my parents had shared and shown, one of love and mutual respect. The dream was, however, foreign to him. He believed that his wife. Was to only become his property. property from someone who is accustomed to mini skirts and sleeveless tops. I was immediately asked to cover myself from head to toe. High heels and even sports shoes were out of the question. I could recall an incident when his family member visited us, and I came out to greet them in a favored caftan. That's when I saw his eyes. Firm grip on my arm. He told our family that I had left something in the bedroom. We barely reached our room when his fury got the better of him. Jagan sisi kari buat aku hilang marahu. Those were his words. 